Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KeepAdger.com here today to do a little unboxing. So let's go ahead and get this party started. Spoiler, automatic knives, when they get blood in the mechanism, not very automatic anymore. But let's see what we got going. It's a sweater. Actually, it isn't. Boom. Oh, nice. So that I don't end up with head trauma, got the Solomon driver. Actually, pretty stoked on this. Well, may as well open it up, check it out a little bit more. The reason I ended up going with this one, hopefully it was a good reason, is because it actually comes with visor and since I wear prescription lenses what I read about this thing was that I actually don't need to take glasses off or I can wear glasses under it essentially Boom. and then the visor comes down so I can still see and I can still see pretty pumped this thing's pretty cool so if you might have began piecing stuff together this probably has to do with that helmet, right? So, if we find our knife, we will dip in to this next one. Another sweater! No, it's not. Bindings. Capital B. And... They don't put the model on here, but if memory serves, shift MNC 13s, I think. And so, funny story about these bindings. I want to say these are made by, well, according to the box, they're made by bindings. But uh, these are either Atomic or Armada. And while a lot of this stuff is Solomon, those respectively Armada and Atomic are sister companies. And I couldn't find these in Solomon. So I ended up getting them through one of the sister companies, exact same bindings. We'll get more into these specific ones further down the road, but got some bindings now. Set that aside. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and open one of these big boxes, because why not? Definitely not a sweater. Packaging. <laughs> Fancy. MTN Explore 95s. Super excited. So, next box. by Solomon. Alpine white, easier to lose. Poles by Armada. Camouflage, easier to lose during other seasons. Boom, new boots. And these are the, maybe I don't know. Maybe it's not gonna tell me. S-Lab Mountain, does that sound right? I don't know. Here's what's special about these though. 
in all of this stuff is it's basically kind of a backcountry touring setup. So on the one hand, these you can actually wear. They actually have grip on them when you're walking around. And the real magic, you can actually unlock these so that your heel articulates, which is not what you want in a downhill ski. But these coupled with these bindings that I mentioned basically allow you to use this setup of these skis to essentially go cross country. So those bindings coupled with these boots, you can lock them in and you can lock everything down so you can basically go downhill. Or you can unlock these so you can articulate your ankle and you can unlock the bindings so your heel can come up. Then you can use these like cross country skis to go on adventures, which actually brings us to our last box, which is right here, which came in from Schemo. Special shout out because you know what? Sweet little handwritten note. Ivan, thank you for your order. Happy snow days and merry touring in your new skins. Jay. Appreciate that, Jay. That's actually really cool. Doesn't take a ton of effort. Most companies don't do it. Good on you guys at Schemo. So to that end, these are in fact skins. If you're not familiar with what skins are, think about basically shark skin. I forget what it's made out of, but it's really smooth going one direction and it's aggressive going the other direction. So these will clip over the ends or ends respectively, and they basically end up sticking to the bottom of your skis. And now you can basically go uphill or cross country, whatever, and actually move so you're not just sliding, which is super cool. Let's start with a couple interesting facts. One, this stuff is pretty spindy. And while I could probably go scrounge a bunch of used stuff from like thrift shops and stuff like that up here in northern Idaho. It doesn't really help me too much from a content creation standpoint because I'm like, hey, like let me do a review on these 12 year old set of skis that may or may not work very well and I can hurt myself. Which brings us to interesting fact number two. Never downhill skied before. For reals. I have however a little cross country skiing when I was a kid. And this, well, I guess technically it was still this year, beginning, beginning ish of 2020. I ended up going on a pretty awesome ski adventure with my buddy Drew on some cross country skis. So, kind of brings us to why bother investing in this stuff? Well, first of all, not going to get any younger, probably going to die eventually. And this is something I think would be fun. So I should probably start it sooner than later. And on top of that, you know what? As far as hierarchy goes, like learning to ski as like a skill, it's probably lower down than finding rad people to go on adventures with. And one of the rad people who is a good friend, happens to live close, Bill Rapier, Vamtac shooting, incredibly accomplished skier. And he's kind of been on me. He's like, dude, get a setup so we can go on awesome adventures. And I'm like, well, funny story. I actually love awesome adventures. So I should probably get a ski set up and learn to ski. And then we can go on awesome adventures. And again, going back to content creation, I like to go film in rad places. And during winter months, when there's not as much access, that means either I go post hole or use snowshoes. And snowshoes are terrible. I know people love them. It's because you're on a groomed trail, like go side mountain up and over a peak. You won't love them as much anymore. So brings us to this set. Also, I would probably be remiss not mentioning my good buddy Drew, who I went on that sled adventure with, who is basically referred to as the Swede because he's Swedish and pretty much grew up on skis. He, as well as his brother, happens to also be Swedish and I've grown up on skis actually helped me a ton with trying to figure out exactly what would suit my needs best with respect to kind of the setup I was getting again this is like backcountry touring setup this for me is more about mobility being able to get out in the backcountry and go on adventures as opposed to just skiing but since I need to learn to ski then I'll probably do some skiing too 
and big picture i will end up bringing you guys reviews of all this stuff as i put in time with it and maybe even some videos of my first runs with this equipment should be entertaining hopefully i'm a quick study we will see but definitely excited to go out and put in some time with all this new gear and as always thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com look forward to seeing you next time